How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another episode. You know, the clock is kind of ticking. Um, it's the first right now and uh, we leave on the 20th for an 800 mile trip in this car. So I got a lot of work to do. Um, need to put the valve cover back on, button up the whole engine bay, put the steering shaft back in. I got some tie rods to replace the ones that are on here. I just got some torn boots, nothing serious. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm running out of time, so I need to quit dicking around and actually make some progress. So that's what we're here to do today. I try to get as much done as possible today, and I took next Friday off so I could have a full day to just button up everything. And then hopefully next Friday we can get everything done and go to Buena Vista as a test drive. It's about two and a half hours away from here, so I figured that would be a good shakedown run, make sure nothing's going to go wrong. I have full faith in this car. I had full faith in it beforehand, but after discovering a couple of things, you know, I needed to rectify. We're going to take care of that. We have taken care of it, and uh, yeah, I uh, think that's about it. Let's just get into it. Alrighty friends, that's going to be today's video. Very short video and uh, not a whole lot of filming of the actual work that was going on because I kind of just wanted to jam and get stuff done and I think it worked out pretty good and I'll give you a little rundown of all that we got accomplished. As you can see the valve covers back on, all the whole intake system is back on, everything's plumbed, throttle cables on, oops, works nicely, gets full throttle goes to idle like it's supposed to. I replaced the ICV plumbing. I need to get the clamp for this. Got a clamp for this, replaced this with something that can actually hold oil because I had put coolant hose on it before and it was sweating oil pretty profusely. Um, tried to sort out some of the wiring. Obviously those relays are not gonna stay in that state. I have a piece of uh, angle aluminum, just some like aluminum L that I flattened out that I can cut some slots out for these guys. I don't know if you can see that on camera very well, but those are slotted. So we'll take that, cut some notches out, and slide them into the angle, kind of drill that into here. Finally got some protective shield on the ground wire, and we'll go over here. Everything's back together over here. Everything is wired over here. Still need to grab the Oedeker tool for these guys for the brake booster. That's no big deal. I made a big list of stuff that I need to grab from the shop. Uh, haven't changed the spark plugs yet, even though coil packs and everything are back in. I really just did that to kind of situate this wiring a little bit and kind of get an idea of where I wanted it to be final set at. But I need to bring a sucker and some brake clean so I can soak the oil, suck it out of the holes, change the plugs. I don't have a gapping tool here, so I need to bring that. I need to bring a spark plug socket. The... Steering is back together and feeling wonderful with its new Guibo. So that's kick ass. I'm excited to feel how that gives feedback on the road now because this is the old one. I don't know if you can see those crater cracks in it. 
I'd say that that thing served its purpose for the last 40 years. So, that's pretty much it. I didn't really feel like filming today just because I just wanted to jam and I figured it would be nicer to just give a little overview of what I did. I did film putting the valve cover on, so I guess I'll chop that in, but yeah. Still got spark plugs left, oil change, and then next Friday I took off so we can put the rest of everything together, get it sorted, change the oil, spark plugs done, make it run, drive. And then on Saturday, we're gonna take Buena Vista, go to the hot springs, it's a little shakedown test drive, make sure we don't have any problems. But uh, yeah, as for that, I will see you all in the next video and hopefully it's gonna be a driving video. So look forward to that. Thanks again for your time here and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.